Asystem is a, an engineering and digital services company, uh, and we work in uh, the decarbonisation uh, industry. We have been essentially in that industry since 1966. The digital twin project that we worked on with uh, UK AEA was to see whether it was feasible to, to uh, hook in uh, a, a structural integrity calculation models into a, a live data stream from a plant. Uh, and the reason why that was of interest to us is that a lot of structural integrity calculations are necessary to be done uh, uh, during, the, uh, during the design of the plant to make sure it's durable and it's going to last um, the lifetime that it's meant to last. Um, and what tends to happen is once you get into operation or into production, those models are, are, are not, no longer used. They're effectively lost. So what we wanted to know was whether we can turn them into a true digital twin. So whether we could uh, take those calculation models, um, which are digital representations of the real plant, and instead of feeding them with the design basis loading, which is a pessimistic uh, uh, load case, we can actually start feeding them with a real data stream from the actual operating plant. And to do that, we essentially needed a, a means by which we could connect the two together to provide that backbone. Uh, um, and Altair SmartWorks was the key enabler to allow us to do that because it could store the input data. It could feed that input data to our calculation models in a, in a batch mode, say uh, an hour at a time. Our calculation models can then process that into useful information. Um, and that would be what we call virtual gauges or virtual sensors. So that's providing information that you can't actually instrument on the plant, uh, either for access reasons or just the environment is too severe. Obviously, what we would also want to do is to be able to visualize that information. Um, Panopticon gives great flexibility for how you can visualize that data. So we can condense it down to a, just a summary um, number or a gauge for you know, essentially fatigue usage factor uh, or remaining useful life in years or time to next inspection. We can boil it down to that sort of overall metadata uh, that's, that's relevant. Uh, but of course, you can also deep dive into it. You can start to get time history outputs of how the input varies over time and what uh, effect that input has on your outputs be they a stress tensor, be it a fatigue damage, be it a, a virtual crack size that you've, that you've calculated from, from a crack propagation analysis. Uh, all of these things can be, can be visualized in, 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 within Panopticon and it's pretty straightforward to set up. Once you've got all of your models hooked up and available, you don't have to feed it with historical data. You can spawn, copy uh, that entire plant digitally and feed into it synthetic data of how you might want to operate that plant in the future. So you can play through lots of different scenarios, load following or not, over time to see what's the best way to operate your plant. And of course you can hook in commercial models. It's not just a case of you know, um, structure integrity, you've also got to think about the costs of downtime, the costs of maintenance, when to schedule the maintenance, the risks to personnel in doing inspections. You can, you can essentially would now have the ability to, to do that, uh, that optimization process, but including the effects of structural integrity because the data are available. I wanted uh, to use Altair products based on the, the licensing that you have. Because we are heavy users of Altair products in a way, we have a pool of licenses. So it was an attractive proposition commercially to use SmartWorks as a platform, as a backbone. Um, but also I wanted to use Altair because I, it was relatively new to us, uh, this sort of process, and I wanted to go with a company, uh, a commercial company, who would I knew would give good support. Um, and for me, that was a no-brainer. Altair, uh, the best technical support of any software vendor that we have. So the project's gone down well uh, with UK AEA, uh, and we're looking forward to starting uh, phase two with them uh, soon, which would be to, to apply this to a, to a real operating plant.